G'day, it's Marshall from MM4x4 and in this video we're going to show you the operation of Lockup Mate in the MQ Triton. As a brief introduction, the Lockup Mate LED is here and when you first start the car you'll notice that the LED is pulsing. That pulsing indicates that the transmission oil hasn't reached the warm-up temperature. Now that warm-up temperature is adjustable. Uh, at the moment it's set to 40 degrees and once you reach 40 degrees the LED changes its operation to be a status of whether or not the lockup kit is enabling the lockup clutch. All right, the LED has stopped pulsing now as we've reached the warm-up temperature. And we're in drive mode. Now, it won't enable the lockup clutch in drive mode until, just to bring speed back a bit there, um, won't operate the lockup clutch in drive mode until you've reached what is really the minimum speed you can lock up in fifth gear and that's about 75 kilometers an hour but all you need to do is shift it into sport mode see so I'm in fourth gear there and at the moment we're only doing 1200 rpm it's too low to lock up if I drop it back to third gear you see the LED has now come on and we're locked and with it locked you get that nice manual feel where you put your foot down a bit and there's no slipping so now we just use the sport shift, change gears, and you can see it remains locked up. Now if I go to fifth gear at this speed, it unlocked, and that's because I can't maintain lockup in these conditions. Now it also has a feature called slip alert. Now the LED will flash if uh, you're slipping more than you should and you're starting to warm the oil up. So you see it's not on now even though we're unlocked. If I now put my foot down a bit, you see the LED's flashing. So it's warning you that you're not locked up and in order to become locked up you just need to drop it back a gear say fourth there you go it's now locked up once we get to about 80 go fifth gear it remains locked now there we've just gone a bit below 75 it's unlocked drop it back a gear and it's now locked so really with lockup mode it works best when you're in sport mode unless you're on highway driving conditions and all you're really doing is driving it like a manual and making sure that the revs are high enough so that when you change gears so to fourth there it can remain locked up flashing to let you know you're not locked up drop it back a gear and there it's locked up now i'm going to become too slow it unlocks drop it back a gear and there it's locked up again so that's the general principle for how you use it. The idea is to keep the blue light on with lockup mate. And when the blue light's on, it's locked. And if it's flashing, it's telling you to drop down a gear to regain lockup. And with the Ace and transmission in the Mitsubishis, uh, they all seem to have this, this quirk, which is uh, if you're using the lockup kit, the self-diagnostics tend to recognize that. And internally they set a flag, which when you go below 30 kilometers an hour, they uh, force you into first gear, which means if you're slowing down, you tend to you know, lunge forward a bit as that engine brakes into first gear. And uh, as you go to accelerate, it won't actually let you change into second gear until you're above 30 kilometers an hour. So when lockup mate's enabled, it basically changes your sport mode operation to become like a hybrid drive sport. And that's because that quirk doesn't happen when you're in, in drive mode. So I'll just pull over and show that now. So you can see it says D. Now we're actually in sport mode at the moment. Now if I turn lock it mode off, you'll see it's gone back to one. You're now back to normal sport mode. And you shift the lever. If I turn lock it mode on, it's gone to drive. So it'll actually stay in drive until you go above 30 kilometers an hour. So it's kind of a hybrid drive. You know, below 30, it's drive. Above 30, the driver's back in control of the gear shifts. So if I now take off, see, so still in drive, hit 30 kilometers now, and now it's in third gear, so it's locked up. So as you slow down, you'll notice that as we go below 30 kilometers an hour, it's gone back into drive. Now there's one exception to that, and that's if you're engine braking. So if I'm in second gear, and I start slowing down, it stays locked and it doesn't go into drive. Same as if you're in first gear. All right, once you touch the accelerator, which means you're not engine braking, it goes back to drive until above 30. 
there we go we're in third gear and I'll demonstrate that in first gear as well so if you imagine your engine braking down to first gear staying in first gear there if I touch the accelerator it goes back to drive driving below 80 kilometers an hour you, you get the best use out of the kit when you're in sport mode we're in 80 so now I'll put it into drive accelerate eighty kilometers an hour I back off and now it's locked up so drive is good if you're just cruising on the highway and you don't have to think about it but if you're in winding conditions then uh, move across the sport mode and manually change the gears. The other product we have which is Automate, uh, it in drive mode uh, essentially keeps the transmission in sport but it does all the gear changing for you so it's a bit like a remap of your transmission shift points and a lockup kit all in one. Automate and Lockup Mate have a feature now called Safe Lock and it will only actually engage the lockup clutch when you're in low slip condition which is the same parameters as the factory computer. So in this situation, I'm going to deliberately put it in fifth and it's not locked. Now under high load, if I drop back to fourth, it's still not locked until I back off on the accelerator and now it's locked. So that's it protecting your clutch. So it won't engage the clutch under high slip conditions, which will increase the wear on the clutch. And ours is the only kit that does that. So Lockup Mate also works in low range four wheel drive. I change the shift lever to 4L, wait for it to engage. There we go. Now Lockup Mate has already detected that you're in low range and has now changed the lockup performance so that it's based more on RPM than it is on accelerator position pedal and the like. And it does that because we found in practice that seems to be a better approach, especially if you're climbing steep hills. Now, the transmission does not lock up in first gear, uh, it's not able to unless you have it modified uh, with the valve body that uh, enables that hydraulic pressure circuit. And I'll just take off now and show now. It also doesn't have the quirk, but before you go into full drive mode, you should clear the quirk. Now, I could change into second there without any trouble, so the quirk's not active. If I couldn't change into second, then you need to follow a procedure which is in the operating manual. So there you can see it's locked up. Go on to fourth, fifth. So it's getting pretty low, it's still locked up. And if I turn it off, you'll see the little revs jump there. So now it's unlocked. Turn it back on. locked. Now when you're in low range the kit doesn't work in drive mode. Uh, we've found that the, the situations are quite variable and you're best off just leaving in drive. I recommend if ever you're doing low range full drive you should be in sport mode anyway so you've got more control over which gear you're in because the transmission tends to just prefer third gear and keep you in that and you get very high transmission temperatures very quickly, especially if you're climbing hills. So you can see if I go to drive now, it's unlocked and it won't lock up at all. Go back to sport. It's locked up. Lock up mate also has a number of adjustable parameters. To change the settings, turn this ignition off, put the car into sport mode, turn the ignition on and then press the LED once. So you can see the instrument cluster now uh, is displaying, it was your interface to be able to change the settings and you use the plus and minus of the uh, shift lever to adjust. So it comes with a quick reference card. The various different parameters are here. The first one is lockup sensitivity. So again, to adjust that, if you want it to uh, hold longer before it unlocks, just pull the lever to minus, say to 90, We'll go back to 100, which is the default. You can see as you go up and down, the 1 and 2, just ignore that. 
The next parameter is the minimum lockup gear. So you can see the TACO now displays number two. So we're on parameter two, minimum lockup gear, a range of first to fifth. Uh, first is only if you have one of those modified uh, valve bodies in your transmission. The default is second, which is uh, 20. So third is 30. Fourth gear is 40. Um, haven't found a need to really change from the default of second. So I'll put it back to second. The third parameter is the LED brightness over here. Now you can uh, adjust it down. The default's 80. I've had it bright because it's a sunny day and for the video. And you can see the LED's dimming. So you can set it to whoever you want. If you just want it off all the time, you can do that too, to set it to zero. So I'll bring it back up now to, to 80. Now you can adjust the nighttime and the daytime intensity of the LED. Go back to 80. So if you want to adjust the, the nighttime, which is sort of driven by if the headlights are on or off, if you turn the headlights on, you'll see it's now dropped right down and the LED is very dim and the actual value is about three. So it's a real short changes uh, to go up and down the values uh, when it's dark. Next parameter is the warm-up temperature. Now 40 is the, the default and that's what the factory computer uses. Um, you may want to bring it down to 30 if you want it to activate earlier, but uh, sometimes the transmission isn't as smooth with the colder oil. Similarly, if you've got an older transmission, we've found some of them prefer the warm-up temperature to be a bit higher, to say 50 degrees. Uh, if you want to have it so that lockup mate only engages uh, when the transmission's getting hot, you can probably set it to something like 80 or 90 degrees. Uh, but if, of course, uh, you won't get the benefits of the fuel savings if it's not locked up. So that's more as if you want to set it up as a protection feature only. So I'll put it back to 40 as the default. And the final parameter is the, when you're in drive, it's the speed above which it will lock up. So the default 75. Um, if you set it lower, you'll find that you might get um, what I'd call unnecessary lock-unlock cycles. It's entirely up to the transmission computers when it changes gears and typically it will change gears at much higher uh, to a much higher gear than you can lock up in um, however you can go as low as 40 here um, and I'll put it back to the default of 75 and they're the parameters that you can adjust for lockup mate now if you want to reset everything back to the default parameters you can do that you just push and hold, you're in sport mode, engine's not running, push and hold for 10 seconds. And you see the LED will flash five times just to recognise that you are now back to defaults. To turn the lockup bait unit on and off, you just push the LED, it'll give a short flash for off, so it's off right now. And to turn it on again, just a quick push and that's a longer flash of the LED. Another feature is it will dim the LED when you have your headlights on. So if you're driving on the highway, you see the headlights on, it's now dimmed. Now if you're in a situation like this, it's daytime, and you've got your lights on, it's a bit hard to see the LED. So if you push and hold it for five seconds, you'll see it's now bright again. That's like an override feature. So if I turn the headlights off, turn the headlights on, the LED remains at the same brightness. It remembers that between engine starts, so if you're cruising during the day and stopping and starting uh, quite frequently, uh, you don't have to reset it. And to put it back to the mode where it's linked to the headlights, you just toggle it, just push and hold for five seconds again. And you can see it's back to being dim. If I turn the headlights off, and it's gone bright again. So that concludes a brief demonstration of Lockup Mate in the MQ Triton. Thanks for watching.